For those of you that don't know, it was my 21st birthday back in October on the 22nd, and I got given a lot of book vouchers for my birthday because as my family and friends all know, I do love a good book. The vouchers were for Waterstones Bookshop, which is an England-based bookshop. I don't think there are Waterstones anywhere abroad. Correct me if I'm wrong, because it'd be super cool if Waterstones were in other countries. And there's a massive Waterstones bookshop in Piccadilly Circus, right by the theatre where I'm working on Shaftesbury Avenue. And so one day before work, I went a little bit mad, and by a little bit mad, I mean I bought two bags worth. I've never done a haul video before, but I thought why not start with something that I love as much as books. The first book is The Phantom Tollbooth by Norton Juster, which was recommended by Mr. Alex Day. It was a book that he read when he was a kid, and as this sticker tells me, it is the 50th anniversary this year, and he thought I'd really like it, so I picked that up. The second book is Ready Player One by Ernest Cline. It's a sci-fi, and it's about these people who are trapped in a video game, and there are clues hidden throughout the video game that the founder of the game has has left. And if you solve all of the puzzles, then you earn the game owner's fortune. That's what I've gathered from the blurb. Third is the classic The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas Adams. I know, I've never read it, and I really should have. But this copy's really cool because it's got a blank front cover, and then it's got stickers on the inside, so I can do my own front cover. How cool is that? The fourth book is The Drowning of Arthur Braxton by Caroline Smales. I picked up this book because I thought it would really help with my blog writing. It's a book about the trauma of adolescence, and it's been described as a brooding modern fairy tale which of course, you know, is something I'm going to be interested in. And the fifth and final book from this bag is Kimberly's Capital Punishment by Richard Millward. This one's quite a grown-up book, I think. It's about a girl who doesn't want to be in a relationship anymore, so she tries to make him break up with her by being a really vile, horrible person, and instead of breaking up with her, he commits suicide. She then has to deal with that guilt and pain for the rest of her life, so it's called Kimberly's Capital Punishment. Apparently it's a comedy, I think it's very dark humour, but it sounded interesting nonetheless. I don't know why she does this, she gets in any bag that she can find. <laughs> idiot. Now the second bag I have here was bought on a separate trip and it was when I was looking specifically for chiclet. I tweeted out and asked you guys to send me suggestions for chiclet authors and books and you guys sent me a ton. First book is Trains and Lovers by Alexander McCall Smith. It's about four people who are all strangers and they meet on a train and they begin their love affairs. The second is Take a Chance on Me by Jill Mansell. She's one of my all-time favourite writers. I've said in previous videos that I can never go on holiday or on a plane journey or on a, just a long journey without one of her books so I'm really excited about reading this. The third book, again, is a classic, and it's Bridget Jones' Diary by Helen Fielding. I love the films, but I can't wait to read the book. The fourth book is The Sugar Queen by Sarah Addison Allen. I read one of her other books called Garden Spells, and it had the first chapter of this book in the back of it, and I remembered really, really enjoying it. It's all about a girl who likes sweets, so I think I'm going to relate to this one quite well. And the fifth and final book from this bag is The Time of My Life by Celia Ahern. I really like Celia Ahern as a writer. I've only read one of her books before, and that was The Book of Tomorrow, and the cover's really pretty. I know you shouldn't judge a book by its cover, but it's all pretty and embossed and just lovely, so I'm looking forward to feeling this as much as I am reading it. And they are my books. If you guys have read any of these books, tell me in the comments and let me know what you thought of it, and tell me which ones you think I should read before others, if you've read more than one of them. Or if, like me, recently you've been on a big bookshop, let me know what you got, and maybe I've read some of the books that you got, and I can reply in the comments and tell you what I thought of them. Oh, I love books! They're so good. I feel like it's the little everyday things that are missed and lost along the way that we don't really realise that we're thankful for. For instance, I'd like to say thank you for dry wipe markers. They give me much happiness on days when I am slightly bored or have too much time on my hands. 